to be fair, I actually see the other person's point of view, which is this woman's point of view, which is she's 50, 55 or whatever, somewhere around there, and she wants to, I mean, they all want to keep doing stuff, you know, but it's like, God, just like a basketball player, you don't keep playing ball in your 50s, man. People in their 50s do not know how to communicate with people under 10. I'm sorry. Maybe that will always be the way that it is with human nature. But in this day and age, technology leaps so fast that the people that are 50 do not take a leap that the people that are 10 took a long time ago to start the journey that they know is life. And there's always exceptions to every rule, and there's always people that are well into their hundreds that are still communicating with youth, but... On the most part, on the internet and on the media, like the corporate media and stuff, why do they have people, uh, not over 40, people in their 40s are hip. People in their, you know, it's the 50s, man. Generationally, so, so, I don't know, like, all, all these shows, wouldn't you think they'd have, like, younger people that, like, were born with a computer or, or TV or whatever in their house, like a video game system in their house within the first four years of their life so they can communicate with 90% of the kids that play video games. Come on. I mean, if you really, I mean, if you really want to communicate with people and talk to people, that's what I'm talking about.